so the next thing we'll look at here is we're going to take a look at the full screen for this displacement pump to see a different process graphic. So in this case, the process graphic is quite simple, but it's a level two type display. And it allows us to see this information. And when we want to interact with some of this information on this card from a set point perspective, we can go ahead and do one of a few things. One being just clicking on the control panel and the control panel will slide out. And what this gives us the ability to do is see if there's values in here that can be, if we can perform a set point on any of these values. And the way that we would determine if that is available or not is by this little icon that looks like a gear. This gear represents the ability to do data entry along with any type of property of the asset model that's been configured. So you have the ability to type a value in freehand if you would like, or you have the ability to come into the dialog box itself and increment or decrement with the arrows up and down. And then if you hit confirm, it would actually send the value down to the process. If we have other grouped items inside of this control view that aren't writable or the user doesn't have permissions to interact with that data, the gear icon would not be present. So it would be hidden and they would not see it so that they could control that value. So we provide security through the set point values we also provide data validation. So if they type something in out of range, they would get a warning message saying the value you are typing in is not within the operating limits. Please type in the appropriate value, so to speak. Also, if a user doesn't have credentials, they would also see messages as well that say uh, you don't have credentials to interact with this style of information. And that all gets pushed into our audit trail, which is on the SCADA server as opposed to the client and it's there for a full audit trail for after the fact um, analysis of your process.